So I just wanted to talk uh, briefly today uh, about a question that we are hearing quite a bit, which is why study hydroxychloroquine? And I think there are a couple of things that I want to just summarize as we think about hydroxychloroquine and why you might study hydroxychloroquine in a healthcare worker population. So one is, I think it's important to just know historically, it is not uncommon when you have a new disease, a new infection that we don't have active treatments for, to look at drugs, what we call on the shelf, drugs that are already approved, where the safety profile is well understood, at least in one disease state. So what we are proposing to do is actually look at it in a well healthcare worker population to understand whether or not it can in fact either prevent infection or prevent the uh, early signs of the infection and even early disease. Now there are multiple studies going on, over 30, probably a lot more, uh, but per clintrials.gov over 30, and um, over half of them are looking at whether or not you can use uh, this uh, medication either for pre-exposure prophylaxis, so before anyone's been clearly um, exposed to someone, let's say without PPE on, um, post-exposure, so knowing someone's been exposed without adequate PPE on, or even in early in early infection before people are maybe symptomatic or minimally symptomatic. And we do um, uh, know that in cell lines, in the laboratory, um, there is evidence of antiviral effect. Now, whether that translates in fact to a human, we do not yet know. And really whether or not it's a potent enough, even if it did a potent enough antiviral to have any clinical effect is something that we really need to understand. Again, we feel quite confident in the safety profile in an outpatient population. Uh, we are following very closely uh, recommendations from the American College of Rheumatology in terms of the safety profile for this medication in the outpatient setting. And also, uh, we have a lot of safety measures in place as we would with any clinical trial. You know, this trial is being done with FDA oversight. This trial has a data uh, safety and monitoring board that is reviewing the data. Uh, the chair of the board is reviewing the data weekly. Um, and obviously any safety events that were to be noticed or identified would be reported very uh, immediately to the FDA. But I think we really need to, to, to ask the question of um, whether or not it can prevent infection in healthcare workers. And I think the safety of this regimen in the equivalent of a healthcare worker population, in fact, a well healthcare po worker population, you could argue um, it, it is even safer than in a chronic disease population, um, and, and I think is really, really important for us to address.